Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is gonna talk all about how to use custom fields and bot fields in ManyChat. So you probably come across this. If you built anything in ManyChat, you know that there will be some times where you wanna save information to a custom field and save information to a bot field. So first, let's talk about the difference between these two. A custom field is basically where you store any information that is specific to an individual user in ManyChat. So if you ask somebody what's their phone number, what's their favorite color, what's their favorite food, or even if you're asking them to respond to a question with a specific answer, then that would be where you would store that information, a custom field. A bot field is where you can store information that is specific to the bot in its entirety. So you know that ManyChat recently introduced Instagram DM automation. Um, before there was Messenger, before there was WhatsApp. But the good thing about bot fields is that whatever information you put into a specific bot field, it, it populates across the entire bot. So you don't have to worry about um, platform specific details. All the details remain the same. So what would you use for a bot field? Things like a customer service email address. Um, maybe it's a landing page for a specific marketing campaign. Maybe it's your business hours. Um, maybe it is um, a coupon code for a special offer. It could really be anything that you want. It just needs to be something um, that is relevant enough or, or maybe even changes frequently enough to where you probably need to update this in different places of your bot at some point. So honestly, to be safe, I always use bot fields for links just in case we need to change um, a couple of different things in our campaigns because the campaigns that I build for my clients are pretty large. If you're building like really simple flows that are maybe, you know, five to six messages max, then you probably wouldn't want to use a bot field if it's gonna be a little overwhelming for you, but I would still highly suggest it just because it's super easy to update and you just don't wanna run the risk of having wrong links anywhere in your bot. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use both of these features in ManyChat and you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, so before I show you the examples on how to use custom fields and bot fields, let's talk a little bit about how to create each one of these. So again, a custom field is something that is specific to the individual user and a bot field is something that um, is specific to the bot in general, basically meaning any information um, that you want to easily update at one time, you would use like for a bot field. So let's talk about how you can actually create these. So let's go ahead and double click inside of the gray area of uh, your flow builder and then go to plus actions and then go to plus action here and then go to set user field. So whenever you're creating a user field, um, you would just click here and you can actually type in test. I'm going to say test user cuff, cuff for custom user field. And if you notice here, it gives you a couple of different options. This is a newer interface for ManyChat. So if you're not seeing this, you should see these two at the least. Um, you should see custom user fields and then also custom bot fields. Now, this is not a tricky part, but if you are newer to ManyChat, just make sure that if you are wanting to create something that's specific to the user, then you use the custom user field right here, new user field. If you are wanting to create a bot field, then you use this one plus new bot field. And the reason why I point that out is because because they're in such close quarters, like you may not really be paying attention and you may accidentally create a bot field uh, for where you meant to create a custom user field. So I'm going to say test cuff and then new user field. And then here's where you can decide on like what type um, you want. So it could be text. This is good for like um, websites. Um, or even if you are, you know, just wanting to create something to capture data, then text would be the correct uh, one to choose. Um, it could be a number. This is like for quiz results or calculators or, you know, things like that. It could be just a date. It could be a date and time. Um, and it could also be a true or false and then array. I never use array, um, but you may be into that type of thing. So. <laughs> Just want to point that out. But um, yeah, you could choose any one of these um, to fit whatever type of user field um, that you're creating. 
Keep in mind that um, the user fields, um, you don't have to have like a starting value for them. They are basically used to capture data um, for an individual contact. So you don't necessarily um, have to like put a description or anything like that. Um, and you don't have to set the custom field to anything right away um, if you don't want to, but just keep that in mind. Okay, and then we'll click on create. I'm not gonna create that right now just because um, I don't need to. Um, and let's show you how to do a bot field. So I'm gonna say test BF. And then if I go to, again, plus new bot field, then here is where it's a little different. So remember when I said that this information um, that you're holding here in this value is basically information that is specific to your bot. I always use bot fields to collect information or house information that may change very easily. So um, I'll give you an example of that in a minute, but this is important because um, if a link changes for you, you don't wanna have to go all throughout your bot to you know change the link. You can actually go into your settings and change the value of the bot field and it will update everywhere in your bot instead of you having to do all of that work to um, find all of the links because when you're building out like you know elaborate campaigns it's just a, a huge pain to go through and change all the links individually so we have the same options here minus the array for the bot fields so you can do text you could do a number um, a date a date and time or true and false um, so I'll give you some examples there but let's say we're gonna do a website for this particular bot field um, we would want to choose text and then you can choose or you can type your website here and then you would choose create and then it would create your bot field so let's go ahead um, and get into some of these examples um, and so first we'll start off with the custom user fields so if we zoom in here the first example that you can use your custom user fields is for collecting personal information and preferences. So um, this is, again, these are just examples. Please feel free to use your imagination to decide like how you can best utilize um, custom user fields in your business. But let's say for example, um, if we are looking to collect somebody's first name, we can actually go ahead and collect that here in the bot. So if we go into this message to edit, we're actually using um, a custom or a user input here um, instead of just a text because we want the person to be able to type their name and we want to be able to save that to a custom field. So as you can see here, uh, we tell them to go ahead and type their first name below and the reply type is text. We have some different um, options there. I don't use the system field for Instagram, but that's just me. Feel free to do you. Um, and then save response to a custom field. This is the custom field that I would like to save this to. So that is, uh, that's what I'm gonna have this saved to. And then that's it. Uh, once they type their name, then it will be saved into that particular custom field. And you can use that going forward. And if you didn't know, you can use these custom fields in your messages as well. So for example, once somebody types their name, you can say, thanks and then go to these curly brackets here type in your custom user field and it will populate if you connect this it will populate their first name because they've just typed it here so uh, this is a great way to add personalization into uh, your campaigns the second example is to segment your audience so you can use custom fields to ask people certain things and um, have them respond and you can save that information into a custom field so for example we're asking people here what's the biggest challenge in your business right now and they can choose these options marketing sales building community or creating irresistible offers so we've put the options down here into some quick replies and if they answer one then we want to set their custom user field of biggest challenge to marketing and let's click into this so I can show you really quickly. Whenever you are creating your custom field, if, because this is a text user field, you can change this value, right? So I have it here as marketing because that's what I've typed, but I can change this to anything I want. Um, but just obviously, you know, change it to something relevant. But I just wanted to share that because 
it's important to know that you don't have to be stuck in a box when it comes to creating these things. Um, feel free to change this however you want, but this is just how you would actually use the custom field. And the third example is for personalized information like webinar IDs. So I know for some webinars, they require like a unique URL per person. And so when people actually uh, register for the webinar, then they will have their own unique link to join the training. So this is um, something that would be like a little bit more advanced because you would have to use Zapier to push the webinar ID back to ManyChat. Um, and if you are an advanced mini chat user, then you know what I'm talking about. And if not, no worries. Uh, you probably would not need this right now anyway. But if you do use webinars or if you have anything where uh, you need to push information back to mini chat um, so that you can kind of sync your CRMs, then this is a great way um, to do that by using custom user fields. Okay, now let's get into the bot fields. So again, the bot fields, it's just so convenient because you can update a link once and it updates everywhere in your bot as long as you have the bot field um, inside of your message or inside of your links or what have you. So for example, number one, for any hard website info that has the potential to change later, as you can see here, I have a bot field for the customer service email. This could very easily change later if you are adding more people to your team um, or what have you. This it could definitely be something that you can utilize and would not want to update every single place in your bot. So using this for a bot field is perfect. You can also, I want to uh, make this clear, you can put your bot fields inside of your messages by um, clicking on these curly brackets and then searching for the bot field. So as you can see here, that's how we've inserted that. And you can also use bot fields in buttons. So if you go to a button and you wanna send somebody to a website, maybe let's say like you were split testing um, a, a landing page or uh, you want them to go to a specific landing page and you can also put that link here. Let's see if I have any here. Um, there we go, we'll just use that one there. And then that will insert uh, the URL for you. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, the second way to use a bot field is for social proof or to showcase stats. So I know that a lot of us in marketing, we really like to utilize that social proof and it's changing all the time, right? So um, if somebody downloads a hundred of my profitable bot checklists, um, that's great. But what if I have a thousand downloads now and I want to make sure that people know that then I can use a bot field, a number bot field to showcase that number. And whenever the number changes, I just have to update it inside of my settings and then I can move forward with knowing that, you know, the correct number is going to be showing to people whenever they, um, are running across these messages and really quickly, the way to change your bot fields is to go into your settings. And if you just come uh, here under automation, go to fields, and then you may have to scroll back up, go to bot fields, and then you can change the value here just by tipping, or excuse me, not tipping, just by changing this here. This is a number one, so let's see, right here, yeah, you just change the link, and then it will update everywhere for you. Okay, so the third example is for webinar join links or any other URLs. So. This is really big because if you, especially if you do webinars on Zoom and things like that, sometimes we know, you know, the links can get a little crazy. So if you have a bot field, I would just recommend this just in general. If you have a bot field to house the link for your actual um, webinar um, training, the live training, then it's best to use this so that in case anything changes, then you can update it as soon as possible. So really quickly, you may be asking, well, what's the difference between this webinar join link and this webinar ID that you just showed us? The difference is this webinar ID is specific to the end user, um, depending on how they registered for the webinar. And this webinar join link is for everybody. So there is no, um, no uniqueness to it. It's literally for everybody who wants to join the training. So um, if you have something like this, um, or if you have a lead magnet or a live page that you want to push everybody to, then this is how you would do it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I really hope that you found it helpful. 
If you did, please go ahead, make sure to like the video and also subscribe for more mini chat tutorials because I will be doing a lot more deep dives on this channel. So please make sure to go ahead and subscribe so that you stay tuned for those. And if you have any questions, just ask them below in the comments. I will make sure to get back to you and maybe I'll even film a video tutorial because I mean, there's tons to learn about mini chat when it comes to trying to use this tool to leverage your business, leverage your different marketing campaigns that you have going on. So yeah, just make sure to leave a comment below and then I'll get back to you and maybe I'll have a video response for you as well. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.